Before we look at the question, I want to quickly review a useful permutations formula, specifically a formula for finding the arrangements of a set of letters in which some of the letters show up more than once. For example, maybe I've got X, X, Y, 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 Z, and I want to know how many codes I can make with these six items. Well, we can start. We can start by imagining how many codes I could make if all the letters were different. And that would just be 6 factorial. But that number is going to be far too big for us, right? That number assumes that I get a new arrangement if I, if I switch the order of these x's, say, or if I a whole bunch of different arrangements every time I, I mix around the, the, the y's. Uh, that assumes that you know, changing the order of these guys leads to a new one, and a whole bunch of new ones, in fact, because of all the ways that everything else could be arranged all around those Y's. Uh, in fact, this number is too big by a factor of all the ways those X's can be mixed among themselves, and by a factor of all the ways the Y's can be mixed among themselves. So to make this, to bring this number down to where it actually should be, we have to divide by the ways those x's can be arranged among themselves and the way the y's can be arranged among themselves. So, how many ways can the x's be arranged among themselves? Well, it's just two items and they can be that means they can be arranged in two factorial different ways. And the y's, the three y's can be arranged in three factorial different ways. So, in our formula, we can say for arrangements with repetition, you take the total number of items, factorial, and divide by the factorials of the repeats, of the repeated items. Um, so, a, 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 I guess an intimidating formula at first, but a pretty easy one to put into practice. Here, six items, so six factorial on top. Two x's, so two factorial on the bottom. Three y's, so three factorial on the bottom. All right, on to the question. Let's see, on to the question. The letters D, G, I, I, and T can be used to form five letter strings, such as D, I, G, I, T, or D, G, I, I, T. D, G, I, I, T, for example. Using these letters, how many five-letter strings can be formed in which the two occurrences of the letter I are separated by at least one other letter? Okay, we need all the arrangements of these five letters, but we're never allowed to have our I's right next to each other. So I guess, I guess my example version here is, is not allowed. All the ways to arrange these, but we've got to not count all the ones with I next to each other. Well, one way to approach this, this sort of permutation questions with a restriction is to start by ignoring the restriction, in fact, by saying, by finding all the ways that these can be arranged, and then finding all the bad versions, subtracting all the impermissible versions. So if we take them all and subtract the impermissibles, that is going to leave us with all the permissible versions. So starting with all the ways to arrange this, ignoring that, that restriction that the I's can't be next to each other. Well, if we ignore that, then it's just arranging five letters in which one of the letters shows up twice. And then we can just use our, our trusty arrangements with repetition formula. So all the ways to arrange these five will be five factorial for the five different items divided by two factorial for the repeated i. And that leads to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or times 2 factorial, divided by 2 factorial. And our 2 factorials cancel, and we are left with 5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60. So 60 ways to arrange this all together. Well, how many how many bad versions? How many ways are the, how many of the how many impermissible versions are there? Well, let's see. I mean, this is one. The the eyes are next to each other, and another would be I don't know D 
I I G T or D I I T G or I I so obviously way too many to uh, 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 to write out uh, to <laughs> to figure them all out like this. But if we write out a few, we might notice what's actually going on here. If we consider these eyes as a single block. And that's all they really are, right? Like they, if we're just finding the impermissibles, then the eyes are always next to each other. And since they're the same, it doesn't matter what order they are. So we're really, those eyes are functioning as if they are a single letter, as if they are just one single item. And that means that all we're really doing is finding the ways to arrange these four items, the eye block and the three other letters, all really functioning each as a single letter. So the ways to arrange four different items, that is just four factorial, or four times three times two times one, or 24. And then we've got everything that we need to continue with our original plan, right? The all, the total number of ways to arrange these guys, that was just, that was just 60. And then we subtract our impermissible, the impermissible 24, we get 60 minus 24 is 36 permissible versions left over, and that is answer choice 